Alright, I've tried to set this camera on multiple surfaces to get a good angle to record. It didn't go so well. So, here you have it, my beautiful arm tripod. So it's gonna be a little wiggly today. Hi guys! I just wanted to say a little quick hello. Um, I just finished uploading the 1012 video, so uh, happy Vlogtobemas. So if you haven't watched that one yet, it's a shorty, but it's got some cute little footage from our adventures this weekend. Um, it is Wednesday today. Um, we've had a really fun weekend, and now we are going to have a really crazy week. We're kind of displaced right now. Um, they're doing some work on our bathroom, so we're staying at a friend's house for the week, which is totally fine. We got the place to ourselves. It's pretty cool. It's beautiful here. Can't complain about that. And we're very grateful that we have a place that we can kind of go and crash while we're homeless, destroying our tractors right now. So, I am here uh, hanging oh. out after a crazy uh, weekend. Uh. All right. Um, I'm going to keep this one because it's broke, okay? You can use other things. I'm going to fix it later. Okay? <laughs> I might need to take a break for a second and fix a tractor. Alright. So this week is kind of topsy-turvy and a little bit weird, but I got a little bit of footage recorded yesterday when it was sunny and nice. Ernest and I went on a walk around the lawn. We did that before the bug invasion. It's fall in the Midwest, so if you're watching and you're not from the Midwestern United States, you might not know this, but fall is the season, especially if you're around, like, uh, cornfields or soybean fields are the worst, um, of bugs. And not just any bugs. They're called, well, they're called by lots of names, but in my family we call them stinky ladybugs or Japanese beetles, or Asian beetles, or orange ladybugs, or whatever. They're technically not a ladybug, but they look like them. They're fat, little, nasty, orange ladybugs, basically. They're round. And they stink. They stink. They have this stinky toxin to kind of get rid of predators or whatever. And they spray it when they feel offended. <sighs> nasty and they bite and usually when they come out it's hot and no breeze and just really sunny so then that sunniness and that stink it's they're just gross and they're they swarm there's swarms of them so the last few days it's been pretty bad like around noon they just kind of invade so you don't really want to be playing outside during that so we went outside in the morning um, there's box elder bugs too, which are black and red and they're soft. They're not hard like the stinky ladybugs, which makes a difference. It does, because if you're running around in the lawn and a stinky ladybug fries, flies right into you, it doesn't feel very good, but a box elder bug, I mean, it's gross still, but they're soft, so it's not as bad. And they don't bite and they don't stink, but they, they also swarm, so they're just nasty. My parents' house had a lot of the box elder bugs, but not really many stinkies. Which was nice, but also still yucky. Swarms of bugs. Ugh. I'm not, like, super squeamish, but many childhood trauma memories of the, the agricultural tangent here. Um, the... Orange ladybugs, the Asian beetles, were introduced to get rid of soybean aphids. They were brought to America to help combat aphids infestations in soybean fields. Which, history should have told us that that wasn't a good plan, but they did. They helped with the aphid population, which destroy soybeans. But they, in, I think they're, they're from China originally. In China, they live in the mountains, in caves. Like in crevices in caves. Swarms. Thousands. So, in the Midwestern United States, there's not really mountains or caves to speak of. So, they like houses. Which are kind of like caves. 
and they like stone. And I grew up in a brick house. So when the, uh, the populations of them kind of skyrocketed, because they're like, oh, awesome, new world to explore, and great food source, and let's make babies, and overpopulate, and all sorts of other ecological consequences that weren't thought about. They would invade our house when we were little. And it was, and I know this isn't just, like, childhood memories taking over. They were awful. Really bad. And I don't think they've been that bad since then. I mean, it's still gross, but... Ugh. It was always, like, right around my sister's birthday, so I always said it was her fault. Which is neither here nor there, but it's definitely her fault. So anyways... Today it's kind of rainy, a little gray, which is okay by me. I'm hoping the temperature stays down. It hasn't been terribly hot. It's been really perfect weather, but if the temperature stays down and the sun kind of hides a little bit, we might not get a crazy bug swarm. Hey, later today we have to go to a doctor's appointment, which I'm kind of dreading. It's for Claudia, which is fine. Everything's good. It's just a checkup. But it's always a circus when I take them to the doctor's office. So I'm hoping that that all goes well. By the time you're seeing this, it'll all be a distant memory to me. So, knitting update. Yesterday when I recorded, I said I was going to finish my Mel Passat sweater. And I did. I got the sleeve done, the cuff done, I got it bound off, ends woven in. And I was so excited, and I was thinking, you know, I'm going to wait to block it till we get home home, because we have a, a clothesline, and it would be the most effective way. I couldn't wait. Yay! Debbie Bliss Cash Merino that was given to me by a friend. And then this is Naturally Care on Country, which, look at that stitch definition. I was kind of hoping to wear it today, but it's still damp, which is okay. Right? Straight up insanity sometimes. All right, so enjoy. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this all together. It'll be a surprise for all of us. so far and I want to say a quick little hello to some of our new subscribers I'm really excited that we've got a couple new people who have subscribed we're very very excited and we hope you enjoy this and I just wanted to also note I I think I might continue to do some vlogs past October because I'm having a lot of fun and they seem to be met with some pretty good response so if you have anything that you'd like to see in a vlog from me or from Kate or from Ernest or whoever involved here, let us know. Give us a comment, send us an email, um, message us on Instagram. I'm going to go clean up this disaster that is the house here and get ready for my day. All right, have a good day.